What's up everybody, DGTPOR here today to review the Master Grade Delta Plus. There's the box right there, and then here's the model itself. This is the 1100 Master Grade, of course. And, uh, two quick things. Uh, I was gonna, I was gonna, uh, decal this kit all the way through, but I still kinda suck at decaling and all that. So, uh... <laughs> Uh, I got mad and quit decaling it, so I might eventually decal it later and show you guys what it looks like all decaled up. I did a little bit right here on the uh, shield, and then I got pissed off doing a uh, dry transfer because it rubbed off onto my fingers, and then I cried for a little bit, and then I just had to screw it. I'm going to do the review. And the second thing is, everyone told me this, and so I expected it, and it is very true. The feet on this kit suck, so this guy could be falling over a lot during this review, so I'm sorry about that. If it happens, if it doesn't happen, then hey. So overall, right, real quick, you got an overall co color scheme. You get a darkish, uh, grayish blue right here. Then you get just the normal navy blue right here. Then you get some white spread throughout the kit, and then inner frame uh, gray, like always. Um, Articulation-wise, right here... On the head, you're not gonna get, uh, you're not gonna get much of a tilt back because of this backpack piece right here. But you are gonna get a pretty good tilt forward, and then tilt all the way over. You can go all the way around it if you want, but you get good tilt side to side, and you want to be careful moving it because I've got this piece right here to pop off uh, quite a few times. And I don't believe you can put an LED in this kit. You might be able to, maybe. I don't, I can't remember in the instructions if it says you can, but I think there is a clear piece in here that you could, so maybe you can. I'm not, I'm not too sure, I can't remember. Uh, but other than that, uh, for the arms, you're going to get a bend out to like here. Nothing too spectacular because of this piece right here restricts it from moving. You will get a uh, move forward like so. Then you can go all the way around with the arm. You see the shoulder pad moves with the arm. Like so, zoom out a little bit. Uh, you do get a uh, upper arm swivel, like so. You do get double jointed elbows, of course, like like so. You do the hands you get on this kit are the thumb, the one, then the three. And then you do get a full wrist rotation. You do get forwards and backwards and dice hand throwing motions like so. You don't get much of a move in the waist because of these outer uh, um, skirt armor uh, parts. You get just like a little bit and that's about it. Uh, for the skirt parts that move you move this these move out a little bit and then these parts move a little bit and then the back plate the back plate is all one piece and you can move it like so uh, for the legs you get a pretty good kick forward like so uh, the front skirt armor is real small so you get so that's why you get such a good uh, kick forward you don't get uh, any well you get a little bit of rotation like so, but that's about it. You do get double jointed knees, like so. You can see it kind of crept through right there, but you do get a double jointed knee, like so. And he does get this, so that's not bad at all. Uh, for me, when you're building a transforming kit, I I always seem to have trouble with the knees. I don't know if I'm just building them wrong or if the knees on transforming kits just suck. But you get that. And then for uh, the foot, you get back, forward, and then you get uh, just movement out of here. And you do get a little bit of ankle pivot, but you got to watch out because that part right there will pop off like it just did for me. And it's actually happened on both sides, and it really sucks. The feet on these kits on this kit suck really bad really really bad now the back binders uh, they move out and in like this and uh, this wing moves right here and then this wing right here moves in and out like so and that is about 
it. Now, back, yeah, see, he doesn't want to stand. I'm just going to place him like that. Uh, you get you get the shield like this. You see, you just got blue, white, and then uh, darker gray, blue, and you got some of the markings on it right there. You got my number 17 on there, and then some stickers right there, and then you got these right here. What looks to be like maybe a gun right in there, and then it extends out like so. And then this part moves back and forth like this. And I believe it just connects in to the arm like right. Oops. Maybe it has to be pushed in. Yeah, I think it has to be pushed in. And it connects into the arm. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe I'm just having trouble. Should just pop right in there, maybe. Oh, how I don't miss master grades and me not ever be able to get things connected. Anyway, it pops in there. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to spend too much time on it. You know how I am with my master grade weapons and you see this part fell off right here like I was saying. <sighs> Goddamn Delta Plus. And he doesn't want to stand because of the stupid feet. There we go. We got him standing. You get one gun, which is right here. Pretty sweet looking gun. It's a pretty long beam rifle. Uh, you do get... You do get some... Uh, you do get some ammo packs. Right here. You get one. And then you can take that out. Somehow, and then you get uh, two extra ones right here. Now it just comes with a peg. It does. It just comes with a peg slot, and the peg is on its hand, and it just clicks. Well, you know, if you're anyone but me, it just clicks right in. But but we all know how I am with weapons, and it's in there. It's kind of secure not really I don't think I had it in there the best way you could have it but it doesn't look like it much thought get it like this maybe yeah I mean it's it's in there kind of not really the securest connection but that's probably just me not being able to get things to hold at all then the only other accessories you get are two very cool looking light blue beam sabers so you got the handle right here and then you got the blue blade right here and uh, you can take the beam saber and you can put it into the shield right here and you can do that with both of them if you're not going to have it holding the uh, the uh, uh, the beam saber as well. If you're not going to have it holding the beam sabers, you got it like right here. And there you go. But I'm going to have it holding the beam sabers. Now overall, uh, I pretty much got this kit because of, because of the looks. It's not particularly one of my favorite uh, mobile suits. Now I can't get the beam sabers out. Uh, it's not one of my be favorite mobile suits. And like I said, I'm not interested in the transformation at all. That's why I'm not going to show the transformation. I don't know if I mentioned that. Uh, I can't get the damn beam savers out now. Uh, but overall, I mean, it's a pretty good kit. It's a very interesting build because of the transforming mechanics. I always enjoy transforming suits just because of the mechanics that go into it. Uh, it's a longer build to me because of the transforming mechanics. I think it took me around eight-ish hours maybe around there and uh and yeah and there's not much lining to do with it. at least i didn't think there was much lining to do but that's also because i like the plain look of like the uh with the gray and the blue uh if i had to give it a number scale i would give it a seven out of ten it's not the best master grade 
Uh, obviously, the feet on it are absolutely her horrible. You can see the stupid parts coming off because it's just barely in there. I kind of got it to go back in like so, maybe. There we go. We got that. Back. We got that one back in. Uh, yeah. So yeah, seven out of ten. I mean, it's more of just a cool. I mean, get them up on an action base, prop them up into some cool spots. You have something there, but other than that, I mean, he's not a main mobile suit. He's not the best articulated mobile suit, especially because of the feet. So you have to kind of always have him on that action base, and he doesn't come with the most accessories. But other than that, I mean, I like him. I like I like him. He's gonna stand right next to my uh, right next to my Master Grade Jesta. So there he goes. Uh, I hope you guys like this review. Uh, getting back into the flow of things for my Gundam reviews or my Gunpla reviews got some more coming up I always got more videos uh, coming uh, let me know how you like this review let me always know let me how you think I can improve my reviews and uh, thank you so much for watching please subscribe comment and like and share my videos and always follow me on my social media sites that's at DGTPOR for Facebook, Twitter and Instagram that's at DGTPOR and you can always follow me in the links below guys thank you guys so much DGTPOR out